All right, quick update on strong block. So I'm gonna keep this pretty quick because not much has changed since yesterday. Uh, the only thing I'm really noticing is the increasing selling volume still. I've highlighted this in pretty much all of my videos that I've done for strong, but if we take a basic line of you know best fit and draw it like this, you can see the volume is exponentially increasing. Volume predicts price. And as you can see, the, basically the whole year, uh, or at least, you know, since January, all of the data that we've had on the volume in the past year has almost all been selling and it is not really looking that good that we are having this much selling volume considering if we do look at what Bitcoin's doing, Bitcoin is in the green, Bitcoin is pushing up, the total crypto market cap is pushing up and, you know, every day Bitcoin is heading up and Strong is heading down. So not looking good. Uh, I have been highlighting why I do think that we are coming down to between 77 and $70. I still do think that obviously yesterday uh, we move this down from the previous day and we were what 42% or something yeah 41% away uh, from our target we are now you know about 40% of the way uh, but we obviously drew this when we were all the way up here and predicting a 58% drop now we're only predicting a 40% drop because we have fallen you know about 30 31% already so uh, yeah that's Honestly, pretty much all I see for strong. I mean, the RSI is flat, the money flow indicators flat. Doesn't seem like any money is flowing into strong whatsoever. It does just seem like, you know, people are selling, people are getting out. And, you know, like I've been saying, I, I do think the bottom for strong is going to be around the $70 region, you know, between $70 and $77, um, mainly because you know, we've, we've already been beaten up so hard on strong. I mean, the all time high on this, if we flatten this, was all the way up here at 1,200. I don't think this is going to bleed out to zero, even though I do give this coin a harsh time because, you know, the, the coin looks, uh, or at least the chart looks terrible. Uh, nothing has changed in that regards, but I do think that this $70 is the bottom. And if it's not the bottom and we do drop below $70, you know, we're basically going to get rugged to somewhere near zero. That's just what it is. That's my opinion. I am kind of thinking that we will be taken down here by the 29th. And then on the 29th, I, I think it's the 29th, it's either the 29th or the 28th, but I think it's the 29th, the new stronger block comes out. Whether that's going to have a good impact on the price of strong, that is yet to be seen. Uh, I do think the stronger token is going to perform very well in the short term. I'm not a fan of strong in the long term. I'm not a fan of stronger in the long term, but I do think at least in the short term, if you are going to make a trade, it's probably going to be on stronger because I think stronger is going to perform a lot better than a strong token will. So all in all, I still do think we are heading down to this price target. Like I said, another 40% drop down to the $70 region. And then once we do get to $70, if we do have a big bounce, that might be a nice place to make a trade. But you know, I've been saying this breakout of 190 is really what I need to see. Something like this, this inverse head and shoulders pattern playing out, and then a break above the 190, that would make me exceptionally bullish in the short term. And I can't emphasize that enough in the short term because I am not a fan of not just strong, right? Don't think I'm just being harsh on strong. I'm not a fan of any nodes in the long term, not even Bitcoin nodes, because if you just bought Bitcoin instead of buying Bitcoin nodes, you would have made more money. And that's from a historical perspective. I imagine it will be the same in the future. I'm just not a fan of nodes. I, I think they're a short term play. They can be good if you get in when the market cap is dirt cheap. But it seems like the hype for, for strong is over. People just want to get out. People want to get out of their positions. We are down, you know, 90% from the all time high, pretty much exactly 90%. Uh, but yeah, I still think we're coming down another 40%. It is what it is. I think we're coming down to 70. I've been talking about this for weeks and weeks and weeks now. We started making content on this when we were at 272. And I'm going to say every single episode, I'm not trying to catch the knife. I could have been dollar cost averaging in this region because we were already so, you know, far gone. But I'm not. I'm going to wait for a breakout. If we do play out an inverse head and shoulders like this and break the 190, so be it. That will be a nice short term position to make. And once again, very, very um, put very high emphasis on the short term because this is not something that I want to hold in the long term. It's not something I want to hold in the midterm. You know, I wouldn't even want to hold this for more than a month. So 
just my own opinion. I think we're still coming down to $70. If we do bounce very strongly on $70, then this inverse head and shoulders scenario we've been talking about, you know, before the this shoulder here even formed, then, you know, this could be a very, very good play for a breakout of the 190. But until a breakout happens, until a bottoming signal happens, you know, it doesn't have to do this inverse head and shoulders. I've said this multiple times. If we do a nice W pattern like this, and explode out of the 190 that is also a bottoming signal i'm happy to see but it is getting to the point now where this scenario of the w is getting less and less likely because you know this wick comes down to 110 the previous wick is down here at 105 or 106 yeah 105 and you know if it drops below 105 then it is obviously probably going to come all the way down to 70 so just my opinion, not financial advice. If you are holding strong, best of luck. And yeah, I'm not trying to catch the, the falling knife on this. I mean, I, I won't get tired of saying that. When we have a solid breakout, then I'll be able to switch my tone on this. But, you know, I'd be doing a disservice if I just said bye, 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 bye. Because, you know, we've, we've been falling off the table since I started making content on this. So I'm waiting for a bottoming signal. Best of luck to you. Once again, none of this is financial advice, just my opinion on the market, and you've always got to do what's best for you. Cowboy out. Peace.